Okay, now let us, we are going to see how we use the three identities to solve such questions. Now, here you know that in these questions we can neither use our formula nor the formula. Why? Because the powers are not the same. So in our formula, we only use the power by the way is power one. We use our formula when the force is having power one and when the sign is having power one. Other than that, we cannot use it. So I can't use those two. Now, whenever you have a square or anything even, it comes to calls for using these identities. Now, how do we and then? You always remove the one with the biggest power. So, you see this one is x squared, I mean 4 squared. This one is sine. You always maintain, because it's hard to remove this, it's easier to remove already this one with the highest power, which is power 2, using the identity. Now, you start this one, is letting cos and sine so. Which I get to the next cos and sine is the first. This one and this one. So, meaning I use now this. But you know that always to use this, the angle should be the same. But now, this one is like x but minus in theta. So, I put minus in theta. x is just a double variable. So, you know that now. Sine square theta is equal to 1. Because we can always change this angle here. So, I need to go square. Theta. So I take now this beside sine square theta. You see that it's always easier to remove this than this. That's why we always maintain that one with power one. So now when I substitute now this in here, I have now two in two. When I bring now the whole of this where there is this, I put this then plus equal to two. Now open the brackets, this time is this, we get two. 2 sine square theta and theta equal to 2. That's the one with the highest power, it's measured, so I take everything on the other side. When I take this to side, I add. When I take this to side, it comes down minus. When I take it to the other side, we get to minus 2, which will be a 0. Now, here, some people make some mistakes here. Whenever it's sine and sine, we don't divide, we just factorize out. So factorize out sine and sine. If you divide, you'll be losing some angles. See? So what we do, we factorize out the common thing there. If this is zero, this is zero, then the only way to factorize out. If I factorize out sine theta, I'll be adding two sine theta, then they are remaining with one equal to zero. So either my sine theta is zero or you see this is 0, and when I simplify that, I'm going to be adding a half. So sine of 0, so that we take it as a positive, it's in the first and the second quadrant. That here my theta will be sine inverse of 0, and here my theta will be sine inverse of a half. But a half is positive. It's positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. That's why a sine is positive. So here we have our 0 degrees and also 0 minus 180, I mean 180 minus 0 degrees. Then in here we have our theta and 30 degrees in the first quadrant. Then the second we get 180 minus 30 degrees. And from there, start there for my theta will be all these angles, theta, 0 degrees. Then 30 degrees, then 150 degrees, then 180 degrees. As simple as that. So when you simplify this, this is 0 degrees, I mean 30 degrees, 180. You see that this one is going to give us 180 degrees. So that's how I solve that. When I come to this now, I have for cot and the cosec. Now it's that cosec is having a small power, so you remove this. How do we remove this? Now we are going to use. What we let cot and cosec is the third identity here. Now you said I'm going to remove this, but now the angle is 2. So I know that now from cot squared to x. Now plus 1 equal to cosec squared to x. This angle that just can change. If this is 2, then this is 2. From here, just, I'm just quoting this here. Then from there, it means that if I make what square the subject, don't confuse, this is a question, but I just am putting this. So if I make this the subject, it 
to be now equal to 2. Cos x squared is 2x minus a 1 if I take this inside. Then I come back to my original question. So cos squared 2x plus 2 equal to 2 cos x. 2x. Now we remove this because this one is having a small power. So we remove this by putting this there. So cos x x minus 1. Remember, we have our 2 equal to 2 cos 2x. So now, from here, you see if I simplify, I have cos x cos x squared 2x plus 1. Then when I bring this beside, it becomes minus 2 cos 2x equal to 0. When now, here, to rearrange, you see you have cos x squared 2x minus 2 cos 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now you can let in any letter, you can select m b cos 2x. Now from here, we are having a quadratic equation. So it's that I have cos is this squared and it's cos but remember this is squared. So we are having m cos but remember this is squared. Minus 2 cos is m, then plus 1 is equal to 0. So that we can easily factorize this like this. Equal to 0, and so this will be m minus 1 squared equal to 0. So that our m will be 1. Our m is cos 2x equal to 1. Now it's not my angle, it's not corresponding to that. So the original angle I'm having is 180. What I do, I first multiply this by 2 so that the angle here is the same as the angle there. This will be 2x. 3 by 2. Now it's corresponding. But it's not that I can place cosec on the calculator. So meaning, I first get so that cosec is going to be 1 over sine. Our cosec here is 1 over sine 2x equal to 2, 1. If I first multiply it that now, my sine 2x is equal to 1. So from here, that's how we done this. Now from here, I can easily get my answers. So take me the sign so that my 2x would be sine inverse of 1. Sine inverse of 1, we have 90 degrees. And then, what is it's that it's positive in the first and the second quadrant only. And you see, because it's positive here, it's in the first and the second quadrant. So that our x it's our acute is 90 degrees. So the subtract it's even, it's still 90 degrees. So mean that now our 2x is just 90 degrees. So to make x the subject, so that my x is going to be 45 degrees. If I divide to by 2. This is the only angle that is surviving. Okay, now when I come to this, now is that we have tan. We have sec and we have run. Which one is having the lowest power? These ones are having the same power. But this one will dictate. This one is power meaning I remove this because I want to maintain tan. So I'm going to remove this but using the identity. The identity says that 1 plus tan squared theta is being called in sec squared theta. Now I'm going to remove this and I'm going to put it there. Now this will be now. 3 tan squared theta now plus 2 into now I have a step and put in equal to 2 when they open brackets we have 15 then minus 9 tan theta so now from there we expand it here we will be having 3 tan squared theta plus 2 then this and this we have 2 and square theta, bring everything inside, so it will be now plus 9, tan theta, and then bring this inside, it comes minus 16, equal to 0. So now, from there, I simplify this is going to be 5 tan square theta, then plus 9 tan theta, then this and this is going to give us 13. 1 plus negative 15, you have to give me minus 13 equal to 0. 
Now here we start the product is going to be the product is going to be 65 and the sum is going to be 9. You can see that you can use a bulldozer. If you can see, you come and look out for the fact that the product is going to be 65. This is one. Can we divide there? No. Can five divide there? Yes, five goes there, 13 times. So you have five, you have 13. Then there are number. Yeah, I mean, but here I have only seen what I'm going to use because I'm seeing if I subtract this from this, I'll be adding my answer as. If I add them, I have 18. But if one is negative, if one is negative, it will be not work, it can't work also. Then if it fails, then you can use a proposal. What you say? You say, let M be time, the small one. And theta. So from here we are adding 5, but here time is squared, then plus 9, m minus 13 equaling 0. And from there, getting our values is very easy. So how are we getting them? <laughs> so the other way you can easily use a bulldozer. So you can use a bulldozer. Uh, let me try mine here. So let us use the bulldozer. Now my m is going to be minus b, which is 9, plus or minus square root of b squared, which is 9 squared, sorry, minus 4 into m, which is 5, then b negative 13, the whole over 2 into m, which is 5. From here, the values of m you get. Line R, press that, you get 0 0.9. For 6, you are given for the small presses. Then the next is negative 2, point seven four six six. Then you know that our N, from here it will stand. Then the middle time theta is given 0 0.9 or 6, 6. But I know that this is positive, how many quadrants are those? Turn is positive in the first and the third. <coughs> then here, my M, but remember my M is done. I know that that is negative in the second and the fourth quadrant. Then they are getting our cubes, so my acute, you get the numbers of this. And I should turn off. We are having 43.43 degrees. Then this is the angle in the first. Then in the third, you get 180 plus the angle in the first. Then here, my acute. Here I get the angle of the second and the fourth. So here you get the here I'm getting 69 points. And then this is 7. If you give it up 69, point 9 degrees for the small the small presses. Then this is the one in the first quadrant, the one in the second and the third quadrant. My answer here will be in the second we said 180 minus 69.99. This is common. In the fourth we said 360 minus 6999. So that here my answer is 43.43 comma. When I add this, I get 2, 2, 3, 0.43 degrees. Then here, the sum dot. I subtract here. I find it down is 110.01. Then when I subtract there, I get 290.01. Then you come and there and give our thing at once. We have the smallest. 
Then the second. Then this one. Then. I think that will be that. So that's how we handle those members. I wish you well. It's that this one is not factoring out. You use the bulldozer like that. Here is where they put the method mark. From here, they will give you a method mark for using the bulldozer. Or if it was factorizing like this one, here they will give you your bonus mark there. So that's it. Don't forget always this step. It's very crucial. So that's it, members. I wish you well.